How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Friday night. It is here with Master out here, just about 10 p.m. here, California time. March 7, 2025 is the date. Latest activity still shows a little bit of movement here across the uh, Prucilli Trench at the northern ed with edge with a 5.3 around the Ecuador area. This one pretty deep. Over the last uh, few days or so, following that six-pointer that struck down here, let me bring this up real quick. There's a 6.1 earthquake there on the 6th just yesterday. Notice uh, some increasing movement up north here following that earthquake activity. So adding strain up here across the Prudhilly Trench. That latest deep earthquake there with the 5.3 underneath Ecuador uh, should qualify here for some uh, larger activity upstream. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that region. Uh, Puerto Rico Trench here. A couple earthquakes around San Juan northward. Some threes out there around the Puerto Rico Trench. Nothing major going on out there for now. Across the eastern portion of the states, pretty quiet. Aside from the oil fields out there, still getting hit out there in the Oklahoma, uh, outside of Oklahoma City area. Look at this swarm of movement here outside of Tuttle, Oklahoma. 52 earthquakes. And uh, it's got a little sequence out here. We talked about this earlier this morning here. 719 earthquakes in the last 30 days out here around these oil fields of uh, Oklahoma. So still got some activity stirring up out there. Out in uh, Texas as well. One earthquake out in southern New Mexico. That uh, looks like a little three-pointer out there. Not for sure if they got any oil fields out there. In, in uh, I'm pretty certain they do actually. Let's go ahead and zoom in and see what we got. Uh, some over here to the west. You can already see them out there in the desert of New Mexico. Those are not camping sites. Um, near this earthquake that struck Eh, some out here, just due south. Looks like those are some oil pumping operations. Um, but yeah, a little three-pointer out there this afternoon out uh, in the desert. Let's go ahead and check out the states out here. So, uh, the uh, the west coast, I should say, as far as Seattle goes. A little bit of movement uh, this morning. Nothing new to report here throughout the afternoon or early evening. As uh, far as Cal Northern California goes, pretty quiet. Nothing showing up there. It's hard to believe, uh, really hard to believe, uh, because I'm sure there's some earthquake activity stirring up on the Petrolia station, but not being reported. Uh, let's go ahead and double check the trimmer map here tonight. Cascadia trimmer across the Cascadia subduction zone, that is, is uh, showing us 10 epicenters at the extreme southern end of the Cascadia. With no earthquake activity, at least nothing being reported. I find that odd. Uh, I'm sure there's earthquake activity out there. Just nothing of, uh, above 2.0. Bay Area of uh, San Francisco region. Uh, the last earthquake at 1.2. No an uptick here across the area last night and early this morning. Nothing new to report there across the area tonight. Uh, up here across the Clear Lake volcanic field. That's just very typical. About 60 earthquakes or so. Across the geothermal fields, there's a lot of geothermal plants out there uh, that take advantage of the uh, heated areas below. Nothing major across Southern California. 2.5 map removes all of the earthquakes. And uh, the only suspicious earthquake, I would say, is right smack dab here on the San Andreas Fault just uh, an hour or so ago. Two-pointer. That's on the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. Really nothing big, but noticing a little pattern here of a uh, uh, little earthquake activity across the San Andreas Fault westward here towards the uh, Malibu Fault. Uh, but for now, nothing big going on there, folks. Uh, let's check out, uh, let me see what we got for the largest activity. That's going to be a 5.4 across the Sumatra area early this morning. Nothing big happening today. I mean, a 5.4, that's just very common. Um, New Zealand area. Let's go ahead and check out the GeoNet servers. Well, I'll check out the globe here real quick, see what we have going on. A um, lot of activity here recently across the South Island area. The latest of 4.3. Nothing new to report there on the globe. Most of the movement northward across the Kermadec Trench. As um, far as any unusual activity there across Japan, got this super deep earthquake here across the Izu Trench. Some movement up there across the Japan area. Uh, this earthquake right here, 4.1. That's a that's a latest earthquake actually here on the USGS map, uh, 219 miles deep. Got to be adding some strain out here. The Nankai trough is, uh, uh, I would say, it's uh, fairly primed here for some mega quake activity. That's a subduction zone 
that sits down here across the area. The last uh, rupture back in 1944, but it doesn't take 300 years, like, you know, compared to the Cascadia to see uh, mega quake activity out there. So we'll continue to watch that. It's been a hot spot of uh, earthquake activity here recently. Uh, as far as the rest of the, the uh, globe goes, uh, nothing uh, major or spectacular going on out here. A little increasing movement northward here, following that five-pointer down across the Sumatra area, up around the Myanmar region, stretching over towards Nepal. Uh, so some advancement going on. A 4.6 out here around the Caspian Sea west there, it looks like. Uh, nothing major as far as uptick goes across the Santorini, Greece area. One earthquake down in the uh, South Africa area, it looks like, earlier today, 3.4. But uh, aside from that, oh, uh, wow. I forgot to mention this earthquake up here. USGS not showing that, right? They are not. Look at that. Absent. Pretty important earthquake up there. That's at the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone, a four-pointer. <clears throat> and uh, for that, I'm going to run over here to the Canada map here real quick <clears throat> see what we got excuse me and uh, we'll take a look at the earthquake activity out here that uh, recently stirring up plate boundaries here now the most recent earthquake uh, is going to be that four pointer that struck up here just earlier this evening well outside of the port hardy bc region that's uh, 188 kilometers west there that earthquake in itself is uh just shy of the cascadia subduction zone which sits right here Swarm of activity here in the last 30 days. A little bit of movement up north here uh, across the area as well. This is pretty much uh, described as the Explorer Plate, the northern edge here of the Juan de Fuca Plate. So, uh, of course, with this activity and the more notable increasing movement up here across the Pacific Northwest, you know, we just got to watch uh, the area of the Cascadia here. Well, the, the last big earthquake was back in... Um, uh, 1700 there across the Cascadia. So whether there's enough strain built up there or not, that will be, uh, uh, that will be remain to, to be seen or not. I mean, 325 years of strain out here across the Cascadia. Look at all that activity across Seattle area. Goodness, a lot more than uh, normal up there. That's for sure. All right, let's check out space weather activity. A little bit of M flare movement here recently. Very low grade M flare. Nothing big going on there. That uh, looks like a little M 1.6 or so. Uh, aside from that, we've dropped back down there around the B flare category. Not a whole lot going on here for solar flare activity, folks. Uh, pretty quiet. I'm issuing a 1% chance for X flare. Uh, about 40 to 45% chance for M flare. A little bit of aurora activity coming up here in the forecast. Um... That's got to be from coronal hole number 21. That was, this is the older image, but yesterday or so, this was more in the Earth-directed view. Now, obviously, it's, you know, shifted over here to the western side of the sun. But that is spewing out some high-speed solar wind stream. We could see some aurora activity light up uh, due to that high-speed solar wind stream that's expected on the 9th and 10th here. Uh, but really not expecting much here. Nothing of any spectacular aurora events at all. And a quick glance here at the magnetogram image. Well, that's, uh, this sunspot here is pretty much done for. There's not a whole lot of hope left for it. Same for this one. Same for this one. I, I really don't see anything here on the Earth-facing side of the sun. That tells me that we're going to be seeing anything of, uh, uh, you know, far as solar flare activity. It just it, uh, It's a little quiet out there, folks. Storm Prediction Center. Nothing major there in the forecast for severe weather. As we hit up the uh, numerical models here for the GFS, Southern California on tap here to get some moisture. Looks like around uh, Monday, Tuesday time period here. That's limited to Southern California, but after that, you know, Northern California jumps on boat there, or jumps on board to get some uh, a little bit of precipitation out there across uh, the area. But also Southern California gets involved in that as well. Pretty massive, uh, low pressure system that will stir up some severe weather out here across the south. As we head towards next weekend. Uh, aside from that, uh, looks like maybe next, not, not this coming week, but next week uh, looks quite active as well, maybe for some severe weather. We'll have to watch that and see how that plays out. 
Looks like maybe a little cold interaction there with some warmer, moist environment. That, of course, sparks up some thunderstorms out there. So we'll watch that closely. Uh, aside from that, folks, I'm going to call it a night. Don't forget, member drawing is coming up here on the 15th of March, here in about uh, eight days or so. Don't forget to jump on board and become a member today so you can win some cash prizes. We've been doing this here for probably about three years as far as our member, dry, uh, member giveaways go. Uh, if you don't want a cash prize, that's a okay. You can get a uh, uh, some Earthmaster merchandise, such as a cool T-shirt or a sweater. Um, or if you don't want that, uh, the option is a 11-piece uh, geology mining kit sent directly to your home. So, yeah, the choice is yours. No arm t twisting there with that. Uh, so jump on board. That will be happening here uh, around the 15th of uh, this month. Aside from that, folks, I'm going to call it a night. Have yourself a good one out there. Stay safe. And we'll see you guys back out here for the Saturday morning update. Have a good night.